Okay, okay, okay. I'm live with these brows. Let's just, you know, let's just talk about the elephant in the room. These brows. Um, if you watch this in the replay and you have any thoughts on the Shane Dawson, J Star, all this stuff that's going on, you just come on in and say some. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. I would love to. Sorry, excuse me. But we're gonna talk <laughs> because hi Diana. <laughs> Who child? The streets is rough out there for Shane Dawson. Hi, Winter Michelle. You know it here. Hello. Melissa, baby. Shane Dawson. Let me say this. Shane Dawson. Hi, Janelle. First off, okay, let's just, we're going to have a moment for these brows. Let's just have a moment of silence for these fabulous ass brows. Hi, Malika. These brows right here are fabulous. Okay, so anyway, let's go. Okay, so here's what's happened. Let's just talk about the Kat Von D effect first. Okay, so if you are unaware of the Kat Von D effect, the Kat Von D girl ain't though, ain't they? I thank y'all. Uh, I'm really, I'm really, really so pleased with the results. Oh my goodness. Uh, Oh, honey, they're going to be snatched forever. They have to heal. So in about three days, they'll start, you know, healing because it, it is a tattooing process. And then so, yeah, we'll, and then they're going to go down a little bit. So the, the color is supposed to reduce by 30 to 50 percent. And then I go back in to get a touch up. Right, right, right. <laughs> OK, so. So here's, let's just talk about what the Kat Von D effect is. The Kat Von D effect is, girl, remember last year was, girlfriend did her little anti-vax rants on, you know, Instagram and killed her career and her business. We ain't seen Kat Von D since. She didn't, you know, she, ever, she just gone. She just, she gone. So Shane Dawson. Thank you so much, Shane Dawson. Okay. So Shane did the same exact thing. But you know what? Here's the thing about people like them. Oh, man. Be careful. It was like that over here like a couple of days ago. Um, the issue with the, the, what these people are doing to themselves is their arrogance. And their arrogance is backfiring on them. And he just hit a wrong time to... So, you know, Shane did his whole manifesto about leaving the beauty community and all his thoughts about the beauty community and how it was toxic and all this other stuff. Had all this to say about the beauty community, which he was never really a part of. We know he just he was just grabbing him some money. Now, I hope he's got his investments in order. Cause, so, once he did that, the beauty community attacked. Don't talk about the beauty community and think they're not going to come for you. So they started attacking him and then they started pulling, you know, and then once you, they started attacking, they started going in, right? Thank you so much, 999. And so they start, so then they started pulling his old stuff, his old stuff and talking about his blackface. And then they got some video and then, you know, so then he started deleting things. So, you know, he deleted a whole channel. And then he's now he's deleted a lot of videos. He's trying to delete videos, right? He has deleted billions of views on his channel right now. Billions. Because you know Shane got billions of views. That meant he's been on here forever. And then you know when the shit gets bad? When well, now you got Jada Pinkett Smith tweeting your ass. Here's the thing. This has been going on for years, and everybody look let Shane do it. Why? Because that was white privilege. That was, I mean, the shit that's been going on with Shane is just classic white privilege. Because I was oh, I'm just joking, you know, it's just joking. So I saw what he did. I I saw a, vi a clip of what he did. Suppose what he did. So this was when Willow came out with shake, you know, shake my head back and forth when she did her little song. He did this little thing where he was basically looks like he's masturbating to her and talking about her song and looking at her her picture. 
Now, of course, because he this was back, you know, this was part of, you know, YouTube. They didn't know about that back then because nobody was talking about it because the people who were watching him were, was not saying anything about it. And now it's come out and they and they did tag them and they are pissed. Her and Jaden both said something about it. Right, she was 11 at the time. And now they're talking about how he was, you know, sexualizing. But see, that shit has been cute, you know, and funny. I have, I, al I always have an issue with sexualizing kids, children. And I don't, I, I don't agree with it in any shape, form, or fashion. It's not cute to me. I don't like it, period, point blank. As a woman, we should all be against it. You know, as a person. But it's like, you know, they're going... Oh, well, you know, that was his, his humor. And then he was doing blackface and stuff like that. And now everybody wants to be upset about it. But it's been out there for years. Just, you know, we were, we, because we're not looking at Shane Dawson, we didn't necessarily see it. And the people who were watching him thought the shit was funny. So now with age and the climate that we are in right now, that shit is biting him in the ass. So... Once again, he'd had the cat mind the effect because by by opening up that door with the beauty community and saying all those things and coming out super arrogant and doing all that, he opened the door for people to start looking at him. And now the door is wide open and everybody's looking and now he hadn't. He did his little apology video, ain't nobody taking it seriously. Um you would think, didn't we talk about this? Didn't we talk about this last year that everybody needs to wipe their social media? You know, especially if you've been doing, right? Baby, it is so, it's so amazing how people really aren't wiping their social media who do this stuff, you know? Right, yes, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So now you have ruined your career right right and that's part of the arrogance that it's been sitting there ain't nobody said nothing to me so it's going to be okay but you should be smart enough to see how things are happening and you should say you know well, maybe we should get rid of some of this stuff just for you know to make sure it doesn't come back to haunt me no nah, they're just leaving it up because why guess what some people are looking at it, still get some some money right 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 I never did either. Here's the thing. The Smiths aren't the ones who looked it up. See, it came, somebody found it and then tagged Jada in, in it. And so Jada saw it. See, this stuff, so now, so that's all she says, no more excuses. So now, and then Jaden went off. Now, if Will come up with this, go. Let's say this. I'm. A, I'm. We, let's expect a red table talk about that shit. Just know, don't be surprised if, if if Jada don't do a red table talk on that right there. Cause I know she is. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Sanders Kennedy j added them. Hi, Brim Brim. Yeah, I don't understand it either. But you know, I'm older, so I wouldn't. You know, come in. That's that you know goofy um let's just like supposedly just be so wild and he has a history of sexualization you know before he came out um and things like that you know and so it's been like he's now everybody's acting like you know now everybody's upset but he should like you said he should have cleaned that out he should have said because now you're saying you're not that person you should have wiped all that stuff out well, you know, I always say he looked like he needs to go take a shower. Oh, did they, Lorraine? Hi, I haven't seen you before. Um, yeah, so that is what's going on. But like, like I said, let this is just the Kat Von D effect in full effect because he has ruined his whole career in one post because that was the that was the snowball that was the little bitty snowball that started the avalanche now what's interesting also though at the same time at the same time i know we talk about ig but i'm talking about on here 
at the same time that this is all going on, you got the drama channels losing, um, right, exactly, exactly. He was making that money, so he let that shit sit there. But at the same time, then you got the drama channels jumping ship from Jeffree Star. You know, because now everybody's like, why ain't Jeffree Star saying something? Jeffree Star is awfully quiet. And so now, um, yeah. Yes, I agree, Brent Brent. And honestly, let's be honest. Jay Star is on his way out, too. He on his way out. But I think Jay, here's what I, see, I think Jay Star is about to do. If he's smart, he going to get real quiet. If he got enough money to sit on for a minute, he need to back up. Be quiet. Now, now I know people listen to me because I hear shit come back. You know, I know that people do listen to me sometimes. But J Star. J Star, if he's smart, and he seems to be smarter than most of them. He's shutting the fuck up this time. He is quiet as hell. And you see all his drama channels are jumping ship. You know, listen. Listen, watch this. All the drama channels about to turn on him because now this is a climate that we are in that now all bets is off. All this shit ain't going to fly anymore. And so now they turning on him because last year, two years, two years, three years ago, them drama channels was all over him. They was all his people. Right. Right. You And you see Tati is being quiet. Um, I think. If he's smart, he's gonna stay quiet for a while. And and I think out of all J Star, let's just be honest, um, he has a tendency to bounce back because he knows when to shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? So I have a funny feel if he's smart, he'll just be quiet. He'll stay quiet. He gonna ride this one out and then come back with a whole different attitude. And and here's the thing that he needs to come back. He needs to come back not as Jeffrey Star. He needs to come back with a whole different vibe. He needs to come back quieter, chill, like he's been off thinking about life. And he has really changed for the, he that's what he would have to do. And hey, in essence, if he's smart, look, they better look at what Manny did. Cause Manny sat back, got quiet, and just did his thing and has and is now and has and has come back in a very good way. And now, of course, Manny didn't do half of the shit that they done. But Manny got quiet, for real quiet. Right. Right, and Manny has reemerged, and he's just do. And Manny, and listen, and what you can see is that Manny did take process what he went through with that shit, and has become a different man, person, a different man because of it he handles his business he ain't bothering nobody he didn't got quiet he ain't trying to be in all that shit he just doing his thing and by doing that he has re-emerged yeah yeah exactly that video was so good you know i think he is more you know what lorraine i i'm hope okay let me say this if he ain't that strategic the people around him might be that strategic because Jeffrey got a team behind him. He got he got some investors who need that shit to get to keep straight. So it might not be necessarily Jeffrey, but it might be his team. Right, you know. It might be his team like if you, you need don't you open your mouth. It's too much money involved. Don't you open your mouth. And so that might be what's keeping him from saying anything because right at this point, I'm surprised that J-Star hasn't come out with something. Oh yeah, of course his team is. Of course his team is. He's got stuff ready to come out, but because it's, because it's been profitable. See, they're going to let him do what he's doing if it's profitable. It's not, it's starting to turn. The profit is starting to turn. You know, yeah, yeah, because usually by now we didn't see him on Snapchat. I'm gonna let y'all have y'all moment before I get rid of him because I know y'all want y'all y'all want this moment. I know y'all want this moment. I'm gonna give it to y'all and then I'm gonna spray him because I got my spray right here. Okay, good.
All right, y'all work that out. Okay, y'all worked it out. You good, Malachi? Your tail is getting bigger. Right? So, Kylie left, so he's be good now. But yeah, but I think that, but as long as he was making money, they was okay with that because it's a little problematic ways. Hi, Rosie Posey. Hello. Right. But but let's be honest, his sales were already going down. We know, hey, Miffy, we know his sales were already going down because his last two collections did not sell out. The whole issue with the conspiracy theory was, was terrible. So his sales ain't where they were. So they probably told him, don't you, you better shut your damn mouth because right now we need to, you do not, you need to be quiet. Right? Oh, no. You're not going to lose power. I got faith. You're not going to lose power. You are not going to lose power. You're going to be with us. And until you do, plug in everything and charge it right now. Make sure everything is charging right now. But yeah, so I think that the team, you know, because see, the thing we have to remember is Jay Star been broke before. He, he had a little money before and then he lost it. So his biggest fear is being broke. You know, I'll bullshit aside. He ain't, he ain't trying to let's say he wanna live with he got he wanna buy another Birkin bag, he wanna get out of Gucci. Oh okay, <laughs> okay. He wanna get his another Gucci, he wanna have all that. So he gonna get quiet if he has to. Because this is amazing that he ain't said nothing with everything. Cause I mean they are jumping ship. Nick Snyder, everybody in a jump ship. They like, no, because Nick Snyder is acting like he don't even know. Look. Nick Snyder is acting like he doesn't even know who Jeffree Star is. He's acting like he, I don't know, like he absolutely is pretending like he has did is not was never that close to, to Jeffree Star, you know, and I don't know what this is all about because, you know, I don't even have his phone number. What? So, Rich Lux is still holding on. He's still holding on. He's still holding on to the J-Star bandwagon until it fall, falls apart and then he gonna jump too. You, baby, they are running for the hills. All the ones that was doing his bidding, they are turning on him like rats on a sinking ship. They are they are turning like rats on a sinking ship, baby. They like mm -hmm. this, you know, right? But I mean, Nick is really trying to act like he has not been in with them. Listen, I think that Rich thinks, honestly, you know what? He might not have, the other thing about Rich could be that Rich feels like he's going to come back. And he want to be the one with him when he comes back. You know what I'm saying? There's also, there's also this thing like, if that person comes back, am I going to be on their side? Because if he if he makes a comeback and I'm on his side, then I'm going to be the one that's going to be okay. So I think Rich doesn't believe that J Star is going to sink totally. He's trying to he gonna stay on this he can stay on that ship because he thinks it's not gonna it's not gonna go all the way down like the Titanic. So if it if it rises up again, he's right there with him, right. I mean, from from a business standpoint, it's a good sp space to be in, just in case. So it's like he's kind of like riding both sides, <laughs> right? Cause he lives in this luxury building. He's forever getting robbed. I don't understand it. I don't. I live in the hood, and I ain't never been robbed. He ain't been robbed twice. He didn't have people break into his place. It two in one year. In about a year, he's had people break in. Now, you know, it's just, come on. So, yeah. So, that was, so, you know, Shane, but Shane Dawson has definitely done the Kat Von D effect. Or how to end your career in one post. Yeah, I've been over there in the Galleria area. It's real nice over there. How to end your career in one post. Because, because everything else. He, you know, but that one post when he went in and said all that, 
Right. Yep. Right. I mean, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She said I have a really good eye, eye placement. So it was really easy. Right. Honey, listen, everybody coming for him after that manifesto. After the manifesto. And I got to agree, sir. You know, it, 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 the, the manifesto was filled with such arrogance that he deserved, that he should have known people was going to come for him. When you make statements, those broad, broad stroke statements about a whole industry that you have become a part of and you became a part of it to make money off of. And now that the money doesn't look like it's going to happen anymore, now you're like, I'm done with it. And it's terrible because let's be honest, that's what this shit was about. Because if he felt like he could make money, he'd still be trying to make some money. He'd still, because because you dipped your toe in there, made millions of dollars off of the industry, which, isn't that what we said? Now, everybody's saying, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't, didn't we say that when he, didn't we say that in the first things, um, when, yeah, Samantha, Samantha read him to filth and back again. Hi, Rhonda. Thank you. Um, you know, read him to filth and back. But that's the thing. She cleaned him up and then did it. Hi, Anastasia. Oh, are you? Okay, well, why should I leave him alone? Oh, look at that. You, oh, look at this one. We got a troll in here. Oh, we got a troll. We got Anastasia. How are you, love? Now, let me just tell you something. While you sitting up here defending him, Shane don't give a damn about you. So go ahead and keep talking. So go ahead and keep. So, so what you got? What else you want to say, love? Let's go on with it because I love a good troll stand. Come on in, y'all. Come on in. I love them. And you dislike people of color. All right, Karen, let's find you. Because you got your whole name out here. So let's go and get your, um, let's go. On. She sure did. So let's go. So should we, so should we find you? You know, I got people. Right. We got time today, love. You came to the wrong place, love. But you want to stay? Come on. We got you. Our Karen will come for you. <laughs> and here's the interesting thing, which is always a good thing, which is so interesting about this whole system, is that is that people will defend this, and he don't give a damn about you. The only thing he cares about is if you view something, if you buy some of his merchandise, you know. Hi, Marie. Right? Well, no, they met, they they deleted the messages, Lorraine. Hi. So, because he don't give a damn. He wants you to defend him. It's, and, and keep watching his video so he can get keep getting them coins. But guess what? If he saw you, if... Would he care about you? Hell no. And that's the thing about this whole situation, this whole stand mentality, is that you, that people will really work for, you know, defend somebody that they don't even know. And, and that person don't know them and don't give a damn. Right. You should leave him alone and I hate people of color. And, and and I hope she's still here so we can say that. Let me say this unequivocally. Hi, Kate. Did you get my message? Hi, Kate. Let me say this unequivocally. I don't care if you don't like me. Let me make that perfectly clear. I don't care. And if you think saying I don't I dislike people of color. I hate people of color is going to change who I am or what I say because you don't like me you 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 really lived in white privilege too long let me make that clear if you think saying i don't like this about me and 
If you think that's going to hurt my feelings, you came to the wrong space. But come on back and say something if you're bad. Because real. Right. I mean, like, I'm going to die because, oh, my God, this woman said this white woman says she doesn't like people of color. Guess what? That ain't nothing new. You saying that like like I'm so surprised. Oh, okay. But I wonder if where you work at. Hi, Susanna. How are you? Right. <laughs> right. But thank you for the minutes. Um, thank you for the watch time. But here's the thing. I wonder if you want to say that in front of the black folks you work with. Because I'm sure you work around some black people. I'm sure that that, that in your in your job, at some point you're around some black folks. I wonder if you're going to stand in front of them and say that. I doubt it because everybody gets real tough on behind the keyboard. Right? Oh well. So now back to Shane. But you know, he did exactly what Kat Von D did. You know? Right, exactly. You but he did exactly what Kat Von D did. He wrote something out in his arrogance and thought that nobody that he that, that was gonna be it. Right. Hi, Rosie Posey. You know, listen, I have to I, let me check you right quick and then let's go back to what we're talking about. So, but he did what, he, what Kat Von D did. Kat Von D and her arrogance put that out there and thought that she could just, you know, make these statements, these blanket statements, and no one was going to call her on it. And she ruined her career, right? <laughs> right. Now we sit up here and now Shane did the exact same thing. And what, and then, yeah. Yeah, you know what? He could have just said, you know what? He could have just left it at, you know, I tried to I tried to be in the beauty community. You know, it really is I find that I'm just not cut out for it. It whatever he said, it could have just been about him and how this was something that he really wanted to try and you know, and he's just going to deal with it on a personal level because he's not a, you know, he could have even just said, "I am not somebody that you should be like following for beauty advice." Uh, hi. <laughs> um, you know what I'm saying? He could have just said, you know, I have to be honest. I love the beauty community, but I just want to step back from it and just be in the, you know, and just learn and hang out with it. But I, I'm not here to be this person. But the way he came off was very clear that you made it for all the people who weren't, who were confused. We became very, it became very clear that oh you made your money and now you done. Now you like oh we, I, I'm I'm done I, you know. And and I honestly the reason why Malika was because he saw money he saw money he saw the money that could be made in the beauty community by doing these collabs and he and 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 gar and taking his audience you know using his audience and the people who like him to to make money that's all it was he saw a, 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 a income opportunity i ain't mad at him listen if you can you know part of what what you do as a person as an influencer a youtube person especially on that magnitude part of your part of what you have is you have your influence, your your body of influence, and so you use it. And so he saw that, oh my God! So for you know, we could put this out here, and I can make this much in this short a period of time. Think about it. If you found out that you could do something, you know, spend a few months putting something together, and in a couple of days, you can make millions of dollars. Hell, who wouldn't do it? Who wouldn't do it? Right. Exactly. And you can always look like you need to jump in the shower and sell makeup. Go ahead. Who wouldn't do it? So I under so we all understand where it came from. But then you know, of course he had to act like he was so into it. I mean, every time you saw him with the makeup in his hand, he looked ridiculous. And so he was able to, you know, use his influence, his his popularity to make some money. And so he did. And now, can we be? 
Now, the only people who look stupid is the people who believe that, you know, and got into, oh, my shit. And now, the, and those are the ones that are disappointed. See, all those beauty people were like, oh, gosh, Shane is in it, and we're doing, and so many of them that were clinging to Shane and his, and his, you know, being part of the beauty community are now thoroughly disappointed. And like I said, if he had come at it with a different tact, instead of coming at it like, you know, I'm about to tell y'all about these people and they're toxic and all this other shit, he should have never said that. He should have just taken himself out of the equation quietly. Like, you know, I love the beauty community, but, you know, I'm not made for this. I'm just going to go back to what I normally do and I'm, I'm still going to love it and I'm going to watch people. And see, here's the thing that he should have done that would have been smart. Here's what he should have done that would have been smart. He should have pulled back, done that. And then he should have been watching all, they should have just been pulling beauty, beauty YouTubers and gone and been like he was watching videos and, and comments in their comments. And make sure it wasn't just the large ones, but look at smaller people, you know, like Mel or Kelsey Brianna J or somebody, you know, and even smaller YouTubers like, you know, Teresa's dad or something like that. He could have been going, um, yeah, yeah, he really can't. He could have, he could have done that. And then it would have looked like, oh, okay, see Shane, um, you know, he, you know, he's just trying, you know, he's in the community, but you know, he stepped back from it. That would have made, him, that would have left, he, you know, Okay, she is okay. I wasn't gonna say nothing about them wigs. Leave her and her wigs alone. But that would have. Um, but I'm just saying that would have made people say, oh, "Okay, he just, you know, he decided he ain't part of the business side of beauty, but he likes it." Right. <laughs> you know, he likes to. He know he wants to be an in the. He wants to be, you know, be a viewer and everything. Hi, Londa right yes they do don't they yes they do look more and i think it was where i was sitting at because when i got home i was like oh, okay they don't look like that i was like oh, okay so it must have been like the way the in the car i was looking because in the car it didn't look right but now it looks they look perfect they look perfect they look perfect they look perfect <laughs> Leave Mel and her 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 wigs alone. <laughs> hey Coco, hey Coco. Cause them wigs is crazy. She she. I I, I just. Yes, yes. So we can talk about the the, the brows a little bit, because I will, you know, as this process goes on, I'll tell you about it. So, you know, now we've talked about them. We can talk about the. I can tell y'all about the the uh, microblading, how it, how it went, the process. Because this was a microblading, this was micro shading. Right, you know, you are absolutely right. It's kind of cute. So yeah. Okay, so since we have dissected Shane a little bit for 30 minutes, we could just, you know, chit chat now before I get off. <laughs> um now see I was leaving Mel alone. I wasn't talking about her in person, but I just need her girl Kelsey to help her with her wigs and help her style the wigs. That's all I need. I just need her friend to help her style. Uh, the wigs. You know what I put in my hair is I have um, what's her name? Natural 85. I have her product melanin something is to you know for twisted twisty things or whatever. And that's what I did. I did you know some aloe vera water to to get them wet again, and then I used that. Is she still mad? Is she that mad? Is she big man? I thought that was best friends. Yes, in the jar. Mm -hmm. The creamy one, the white cream. Yeah. Okay, so how it works. Now, I showed you all what they first did, was, which they numbed it. 
They're expensive, Malika? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Melissa, shut up. You started a whole... Let, Melissa started a whole... A uh, whole... Uh, <laughs> she gonna start a rumor. <laughs> she gonna start a rumor. Interesting. Okay, so... Wait a minute. Hi, Lucinda. Hold up. Did you just say $1,000 for them ugly wigs? Girl, you are lying to me. You are lying to me. Malika, you gonna make me go and look right now. You gonna, cause you lying to me. You are, girl, that tells you that she don't know shit about wigs. Because you are lying to me. Them things, <laughs> baby, that better be in rupees. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Right. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay, we're going to have to see this shit. Hi, Lucinda. You right, but then she got took. She got took because you can get an Amazon wig. You, I done seen 1999 Amazon wigs that look cute. I'm looking right now. I'm about to turn on this phone. I'm going to see what the... F we going to look for this. I'm going I'm to have to see that shit. Because I got... But you know what? That makes sense. Because remember the $90 um, silk caps that the lady in Canada is selling the, 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 we buy at the, at the beauty supply for a dollar, you know, all of a sudden it was like silk caps to keep your hair. And she was selling it for $90 and there's like, Oh my God. Yes. Honey, I'm about to go on her. I'm going there right now. We about to see, can we confirm this bullshit? Cause I needs to know. I needs to know for real. I need to know for real because uh-uh, mm-mm, 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 we ain't living like this, mm-mm, YouTube, the long blonde, okay, right, the bonnets for the Karens, hi, V, um, mm-mm, 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 Okay, so let's see. What the hell? Come on, come on, come on. Look, I can see myself looking for this shit right now. Okay, so what the hell did I just do? That's not what I Oh, I pulled you up. Okay, so let's go. What's the name on there again? Mel Thompson. <laughs> you still ain't been watching her that much. Okay, so let me go look. Um... She got something that says, please watch, thank you. Okay, let me see if she got this linked up in there because she got the ugly blonde hey, wig. Here. So she got the, uh, okay. So, so there's there's one of them wigs right there. Okay, so let me see. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, wig. Here we go. Let me see what they say right here. This is some Bellamy hair. $989.99 for this thing. I'm gonna have to see how much the pink one. No, she got that for free. I'm sure she did. Hold on, hold on. I got to see if this. I'm also gonna be. Okay, so now I gotta look at this pink one. Yeah. 
So that's $22 and that makes sense. That makes sense. But that $989, who's at the door? Baby, my, my neighbors got into it today. So, okay, so what y'all want to hear about first? Do y'all want to hear about the neighbors getting into it? Or do you want to hear about my brows? Y'all can make a decision. <sighs> right, that's, baby, that's a busted ass wig. Okay, so let's talk to the neighbors. <laughs> Okay, so we have new neighbors on the first floor. Yes. Uh, we can get both of them, but it just depends on the order. Um, you should, for something like a lavender wig, no more than $30. Not yet. No, no, no. These are, no. We have new neighbors on the first floor because the guy who was the, like, janitor of the building, he moved out, right? <laughs> right. So he moved out, so we got these new neighbors. And first off, they're kind of loud. Because I've been hearing, we know, we've been know it's been like no, loud noise, loud shit going on and everything. And it's a lady, and she's got a 17-year-old son. He's the oldest. I think she got, the, her, her daughter is like, the girl is like 14 or 15. I don't know which, what. And I know it's three kids in there and the mama. Okay. So, mm, they're kind of problematic already. So they already kind of loud because I kept hearing voices kind of late, but it was like it wasn't coming from downstairs, but I could still hear it in here. So it, it must be they had the window open and they're so loud I could hear them up here. Okay, that's first. Um, supposedly they were out like at 2 a.m. in the front of the building hanging out or whatever. Okay, so that's the other thing. So the other day, today is Sunday, uh, maybe two months maybe two months what is it this is end of june no nah, they moved in last month so they've been there since they, yeah they moved in in may i think it was may so i'm coming in friday yeah it's friday i'm coming back from doing some errands and some police are coming out the building the fuck um right okay so it's like what and and you know but it, you know what the loudness is like late at night coco that's the issue it's not so much you loud but it's like your timing and you live in a building you know you can't admit, unless it, and it's like random time days i mean like if you're having a party it's one thing but it's just like okay so anyway so police are coming up here so i call Ovi. i'm like my, my landlord i'm like yo what's going on he, he happened to have been in the building and so from what I gather, the 17-year-old the boy has some people in his apart in the apartment, two other boys and a girl, and there was some kind of argument or something about a cell phone, and somehow the police got called. I don't know who called the police or whatever. Now, mind you, the mom in the house, because he said he talked to her and was like, we can't have this in this building, so I will evict you for this kind of stuff. So, so here's, so right then I got red flag to me because if you in the house, in your house and your 17 year old and his friends is acting damn fools, first off, number one, your son don't respect you or your house because ain't no way his friends, um, right. Ain't no way him and his friends should be acting a damn fool in your house because your friend, because your son should have been like, Yo, y'all gotta go. That's number one. So obviously this shit happens all the time. Number two, your son and his, your friend, his friend should have never even had the nerve to do no shit like that in your house, especially with you there. Do you know how how would it come through my house like with that shit? You know? Do you know how I would have came through that shit, M motherfuckers? Have y'all lost y'all? Who the what? First off, none of their friends would have ever done that because they know better. They know better. They wouldn't even sit on my front porch acting a damn fool like that because they know if I'm if they see me coming, they better shut the fuck up. 
so that tells you so once i heard that and he was saying he talked to her i said oh this shit's not good this this shit ain't good already because you clearly ain't got no control real control over your 17 year old son that's number one okay so now let's fast forward to today so now it's sunday lady on uh, right the lady on the second floor she it's her birthday so she's sitting on the back porch drinking and shit right now one of the you know we have um iron gates outside one of the panels was down so she's like these motherfuckers they done broke the gate i thought they had broke like the front gate to come in it's actually one of the panels and i come to find out it wasn't them um she's like these motherfuckers this building this don't make no sense um right hold up this gets worse so she's like these motherfuckers hey you know she's going off and she said and, you, and then what she said and this is a conversation we had had yesterday in my house i said um are we gonna have to you know now we're gonna have to watch packages you know because they're on the first floor sure enough she made a statement about another person in the building supposedly their packages came up missing and you know we that never happens in this building people wouldn't have had shit sitting out there for two three days at a time sitting in the, in the thing you just stack them up out the way and people leave their stuff alone and no one bothers anybody no one has ever lost a package in this building no one has where somewhere it was delivered in this building and someone took their shit no it's never happened so now it supposedly happened how oh, i got an itch um which i'm based on what happened friday i had already said that shit's gone you know um uh, right yeah you know listen carry right right had him carrying stuff up you know listen the girl across the hall christmas time yeah right exactly exactly it's locked we got gates we got door if your shit come up missing in the foyer, it's because somebody took it out of the building. Now that doesn't. Now here's the thing: because of obviously you got people coming in and out, that means the people, it, not necessarily somebody in your house, but somebody who came in your house stole something out this building. So there. Okay. So now girlfriend is drunk today. She's snapping the fuck off. These motherfuckers. This our building ain't like this. You know this. Our building ain't like this. Everybody get along. Don't nobody be taking shit. She's going off. So then the, the people downstairs get involved. So they kind of going back and forth out in the back, right? So now I got somebody picking up something. I, they moved around to the front of the building now. And the first floor lady's on her little balcony, her front balcony, and her son's on there. When I come out, the daughter's on the other side of the gate. Because now what I had already done, I called the... Um, I came and uh, I had called our landlord he said no there's a there was a there was a rust on there so it wasn't that they had done anything to it it was just you know it's been a lot of rain there was some rust he's been trying to get the welder over here hasn't been able to so it just fell it's just a section of panel so now they wired it so it's, it's up there in okay so now all that happened so i come around the front and they still going that this girl out there second floor she on the ground Motherfucker, yeah, yeah, her and her friends, and they going on, she going on. Our building ain't like this. We quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This lady sitting up there with her and her son. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, oh, shit. Now, as I'm looking, I see the ankle monitor on the son's, on the son's ankle. And I got to let, oh, I got to let my landlord know that. You do, are you aware that he got an ankle monitor on? Because the son got an ankle monitor. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> I ain't ready for your cuteness, man. They are not ready for your cuteness. It is robe. He got his robe on. He wearing his robe before he get ready for bed. He just had his bed. He got his robe on. Let him get dressed. Right. Exactly, Karen. And they'll be coming right here. Hey man. <laughs> <laughs> blah, 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 blah. 
you gonna show off your head to them too. Everybody needs to have a robe with a hood. How your head looking today, man? Ooh, you give you be serving them up. You gonna give me a kiss? Y'all get one? No, no, no kisses today. You looking at your perfume, right? See you, man. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. We all need to have a robe like this. This is the robe of life. Say, I got another one. He got two. He got two robes. Hi, Kitty Cat. How are you? You gonna tell me she get out of She get out. Yeah. Right. You need a hoodie or a robe with ears. Right. Look at all. He's, he now kisses back. So sometimes if I play with his neck, he'll kiss me on my cheek and be like, you know, slobber all over my face. And give me the, the open mouth uh, kisses. Hey, we all need a robe with a hood on it. And, and, and it's got to have, you know, the ears too. Yes, he is. He is growing. He eats. He had four ounces of carrots and two ounces of pears for dinner today. Boy, he, he be eating. He be like, and you know when he like his food because he does this. <laughs> so when it tastes good to him, he be like. <laughs> right. Right. See, that's the thing. Okay, so let's go ahead. So, yeah, we need to know about the ankle bracelet. Because he got an ankle monitor. Because I saw that shit and I was like, yo, that's an ankle monitor. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we need, yeah. You know, and then, and wait a minute. So, yeah, so it's, it's one of them things. And so, that lady on the second floor, she is annoyed, but yeah, they're going to have to go soon. They're gonna have to go. So I got to I gotta work with my landlord and be like, yeah. Mm mm. Cause I swear if some shit go missing a mind. Listen, I wanna know. So if I find out, y'all will know. Okay, so now we so that's that is um yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. But my, my landlord told her with the police being here, he said, we don't do this in this building. So if this happens again, I will be evicting you. Yeah, yeah. The only thing we normally have brought here is Amazon. And normally, you know, they, they ring to come in. So we'll just have to go straight down and pick up our packages because we can't let them sit. Because my shit come up. But, and then there's the thing with that, though. And I'm a, you know, and she say something to me, I'm going to have to tell her, right? I'm going to have to tell her, well, let me just be honest with y'all. Until y'all moved in here, we had never had a package come up missing of anybody's. And stuff will sit here for days on end in the, right? Because I've left stuff overnight, just, you know, when they when Amazon's come late, just, oh, I get it in the morning. So that means I can't do that anymore? Oh, hell no. Mm-mm. And I'm ordering me um, a dress. I'm ordering me a couple of desks and a chair and some stuff like that. So, hmm. right, exactly. Cause we, I got some stairs, y'all. All right. So that's what's going on with the neighbors. I will keep y'all updated on that as it as as it um, progresses. We will see what happens. She goes, listen. Right. And I can't stand these. And you can't live around these. And then that that's problematic. You know what I'm saying? Because that means that you know. Mm-mm. 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 Nah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Especially in your building. And this is only six apartments. So you can't say it ain't you. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else has been here. Everybody been in this building for, you know, a year. 
because the building because the building just started running out last year in 2019 because he just finished it up so everybody moved in in 2019 never had a problem we never had a problem and like i said the girl next door she christmas time that girl was buying so much shit and it was just sitting there she was leaving shit there for days yeah yeah Mhm. Mm but i mean they don't know that because they live on the first floor and they just moved in so luckily they're unaware of that but still it's like what uh-uh mm -mm. so yeah exactly exactly be you know it's like mm -hmm. but see what like i said that tells you she ain't got no control over her son because a my son ain't never had no ankle monitor and if he did have an ankle monitor he'd have his ass in that if, if he did something that stupid um uh, right <laughs> that's a good week you know um yeah yeah, we probably gonna, yeah he gonna have to put a camera in there and not say nothing and then he can see what's going on. And and you know because we don't they're we don't have they're the first people with teen teenage kids and and then that's not um you know the and and the thing with that is that if if this has never happened. Yeah, I mean, people gonna steal camp. People steal packages, but when the packages are inside of the building in the foyer, then it's got to be somebody in the building or somebody who's visiting in the building. And if we've been here for this long and it's never happened, and then you all move in and it happens, what you think? Somebody gonna look at y'all because no one's ever had a package stolen. It's never come up like that. So now that's what the, so we automatic so you got to look at them because they they're the new factor okay so let's talk browse so let me tell y'all how this works so this is um yeah it ain't like it's out out on the side you know in the outside no they bring them into the building so it's not like they're on the stoop no so anybody could jump the fence and steal something because because they have left stuff on the stoop, but primarily they put stuff on the foyer. If they can get in the building, they leave it on the foyer, in the in the foyer. Right, exactly. First floor, they right there when the shit comes in. Come on now. Ain't nobody stupid. So. So. Now, let's talk brows. Okay, so this is called. It's not micro blading. It's called micro shading. And it's more of an ombre effect. Um, okay, so they say that this is better for the, the pigment or whatever they use with this. It's better if for oily skin because with the microblading, apparently, um, if you had oily skin, it tended to like fade very quickly on your skin, um, getting them done. So this is called micro shading. And so the way it works is like you first go in and like I showed yesterday, you know, they had me sit down and then they put this, they put the first numbing cream on and they put this numbing cream on and then, you know, I was just kind of sitting there and then, um, she took me and so then when she was ready to start the, the, uh, technician, the, the stylist, she, you know, they took, she took me into, um, a little space. You, you want me to do the little thing? I don't know how to do that again, though. But, yeah, so they took me in, and then she said, okay, we're going to shape your, you know, I'm going to show you, we're going to work on the shape. So then, you know, with, you know, pencil or whatever. And so she, you know, started working on the shape that, you know, for my brow. She said, you know, we'll, you know, brow mapping, that's what they call it. So she said, we're going to do your brow mapping first so that, you know, we can come up with your shape, and then you can say if you like it, you know, if you want any adjustments or anything. And she... It barely it didn't take her no time and she showed me my brows and I was like oh my god they look so good because even just her shaping them and doing them like to look like this it was beautiful I was like oh shit this chick know what she doing these are about to be some brows so then once they do that um <laughs> okay now how do I take it out so there it is so that's how it looks. 
Look at, look at Shell teaching me something. Okay, so there we go. Now we found out something. Okay, so, so then once they do that, um, you go in and she does the outline. And so the outline, now if you know anything about getting tattooed, the outlining is the, the most, usually the most painful part. But with the numbing cream on, and she was very light, she had a very light touch. It really wasn't that bad. You know, it, um, these are semi-permanent kitty cats, so they'll last anywhere from two to three years. So it was like, um, so she, you know, I could feel the outlining, but it wasn't that bad at all. So, um, so she, you know, outlined it and then you sit there and then she puts another, um, layer of numbing cream on. So once she's done the outline, then it was like, you know, she put numbing cream on and we sat there and kind of talked for a little about 15, 20 minutes. And then she started in with the shading. And when she first started, I swear to you, you could feel, it was so, it was, you, I could barely feel it. And, you know, now, of course, as she, toward the end, she was like, you know, if it starts to feel really painful, I can go to the other side and I can put a little more NAMI cream on. But it wasn't that bad. It honestly wasn't, if, you know, having tattoos, this wasn't that bad at all. It started, you know, getting a little painful, but it was like in the beginning, it was, I could barely feel it. It was just like, I could just, it was just like, oh, okay. It was, so it was just very nice. She was very light handed and you know she was very um very just a very nice person you know and we sat there and talked and you know she made it very comfortable she had music playing has a beautiful um studio has a beautiful salon so so then you know so then and then she did the other side and you know she did a few touch-ups and so what she told me was like um and i don't know if it's actually gonna do this because i rarely um with my tattoos, I don't really get a lot of, you know, um, scabbing. So she said, you know, for three days, don't put anything on it. Let it do its own thing. And then it should start scabbing. And then it will, um, you know, start putting the aquaphor on to keep it hydrated. So wait three days before I start putting the aquaphor on. Um, because this isn't tattoo ink, it's, it's semi-permanent. So, you know, you don't want it to lift it all. So you want to give it time to like, you know, pretty much like dry up, sink in. Um, and so, you know, it, you know, it takes about two weeks, like, like any other tattoo to heal up. So, you know, I can't get it wet for a while. I can't do all those things. And then it's supposed to lighten up like 30 to 50%, you know, anywhere from 30 to 50% is going to lighten up as it heals. And then that'll be that color. And then I go back in in August, and then she'll do a, um, a touch-up to make sure they're perfect. And then I'm good. It's, I'm so glad B decided to do this. Now, this was like $350. But I, I, I ain't going to lie. I will probably, you know, these babies fade. I'll probably go back and get new ones done. Because I really do like it. And already, I feel like, you know, it's like, I don't even have to do my face. You know, I got, my brows is done. The heart is the most, the thing that takes the most is so meticulous. And you just be like, ah, oh, damn it. I'm done. I'm done. Right. I don't have to do brows. Which means that I could just throw some lashes on, some gloss, and I could walk out the door, you know, if I wanted to. And look really cute because the brows. Exactly. <laughs> Equal parts of good to know. Um, so yeah, I gotta go get some aquaphor because we, we don't have any because we haven't gotten any tattoos lately, so we don't have any aquaphor in the house. So I gotta run and get a you know a little thing of it. I don't need that much, it's it's eyebrows. But yeah, my eyebrows I just feel so put together already. I just feel so put together already with these brows on. I'm feeling put it together. So this is it. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love them. 
Because when I left, when I was leaving yesterday, I was nervous. I told him, I said, I'm either going to come back crying or happy. Because ain't going to be, a, it probably won't be an in-between spot. <laughs> it's either going to be, I'm going to love him or I'm going to be like crying because my shit's fucked up. But they came out okay. I'm good. I feel good about myself. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, what was I smelling earlier? It's sparkling secret. I was trying to, I don't know if I necessarily want it. It's kind of masculine, but not super masculine. I don't know. That price I might get it. Decant that baby. Okay. But anyway, I I really I am so happy with them. I am so happy. I, I you know they really did come out really well. In right. They are tempting. They are. If you can find somebody in your area that you can see their work and everything, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's worth it. It really is worth it. You know, if you can, you know, put the put the money to side to get them done. It is. I I think it's worth it. To not have to do my eyebrows for two to three years. Oh my God, and they look perfect. Um. I have not okay. I have not updated the decant list yet. I have I have a few more things coming, so I wanted to wait for everything to get here. But I might I could I could do a partial uh, update. This is definitely going on in my dancing roses because this everybody needs to try this. Oh, it's so good. But anyway, so so that's a uh, that's my eyebrows. Hi, Bossy Bree TV. Thank you. Yes, these are, um, so, so like I said, this is called um, the micro shading, not the micro blading. So if you have oily skin, they say this is the best one because it doesn't, it holds better. It doesn't fade as, as uh, like, like if you get micro blade and you have oily skin, they say it'll fade fast. Whereas with, with the micro shading, something, whatever they're using, the pigments, they um they stay it stays it, it lasts and she said it should last me two to three years up to three years i should have it so i was excited so now i gotta wash my face with a washcloth because you know i can't get them wet why was i out <laughs> it's so funny why was i out this morning and i felt myself sweating i was like god let me get in the car quick i feel myself sweating i can't handle no sweat on it i can't get no because you know you can't get sweat you're not supposed to get sweat on it or anything i'm like oh my god oh my god i need to have something with me so now i'm gonna be carrying a little cloth like the you know how like the old white how the old black men be carrying a cloth in the summertime <laughs> i'll be looking like them with my little cloth Well, I would. We'll do that this week because I got to get ready for work. You know, this is summer school. So I got I got to take my nap so I can get up early in the morning and start doing my summer school work. Because, you know, that's what I do. I do it. I get up early. I, pr I, I get my classes together because I refuse to give up any time other than what I'm supposed to. So I only give up until noon. Now watch, I got some students that, I got some students I'm about to fail already. I got a student, she, she thinks she slick. Wait until she see me put these grades in. Hi, Just Black Swan, it was 350. And I think that includes my follow up. I got to check, but I'm pretty sure it includes my follow up. You are right, a red sponge can. And I look more ladylike. You are right. You are right. What was I thinking? I just need to put this. I need to get a little case for my red sponge for my bag, though. I think I'm going to have to find a red. They need to make a red sponge case. A red sponge case. No, it wasn't bad. They come down. They come down in price. Because I know microblade, when I first looked into microblading, the best price I could find was $500. And don't I? I need a bougie red sponge cake case because then that would make all the difference. But yeah, so um, they you know they've come down um for two weeks, Lala. So it's it, the the healing process is like two weeks, and she said with it being summertime after that um 
to put sunscreen if I'm out. Like, so if I'm going to my friend's boat, I have to put sunscreen on my brows to make sure I don't fade them out. Like, especially now, since this is, you know, now. Like, next year, I'm going to have to do all that. But right now, she said, like, after the two weeks, if I go out in the sun a lot, I'm going to be out to put sunscreen on my eyebrows. Okay, listen, I will do what I have to do to preserve these babies. I will do what is necessary. To keep. So I'm buying me some. I'm buying me a couple of cute baseball hats because I don't wear baseball caps. So I'm gonna get me a couple of cute baseball caps for the next two weeks because I have got to keep these in the shade. These have got to be shaded. And I am. You see? Okay, y'all should be proud of me because y'all see I'm going. I'm doing another week in my twist. <laughs> I refreshed the twist so that I could wear them again. Y'all see this? Look, look, I could almost lock. Right. Ooh, I have a, I don't have a floppy straw hat. I got big ass straw hats. But a floppy one would be cute. Ooh. To go with sundresses. Okay, let me go on Amazon and see can I find me some floppy straw hats. Ooh, and a couple of visors. That would be cute too. Okay, San Diego's hat company. Let me look them up. Uh, yes, my brain. These things is getting long too. I think it when if one side if I heat if I just took it out and like took a check on them, my hair is getting long. Oh, I am. I'm. I'm gonna basically be wearing stuff like this until the wedding, and then I'm going to like probably flex a flexi rod it for the wedding. Or Bianca's wedding and then put it back up. So it's either gonna be a twist or something like this or in a in a bun. You know what why it does is because I'm not doing anything to my hair, which is what I needed to do. I need to leave it alone for a while and just let it do its thing without me, you know, messing with it too much. So I'll take them down every once in a while, show you know, have big hair for a day. Yes, we already talked about Shane, honey. Hi, Bossy Bree. Yes, we did. Cause, But I will give you the quick recap if you need it. Listen, Shane just did the Kat Von D effect. Which, what we call the Kat Von D effect is killing your career in one post. His manifesto killed his career. You know, all this stuff wouldn't have came up if he hadn't came for the beauty community and called all these people toxic and said all that crazy shit. If he had just silently left that shit alone, he'd have been fine. Now he didn't had to. He he has killed his career. He has killed. I hope he got. An, I hope he's invested his money well. I mean, to be honest, Shane got enough to live. If Shane has invested his money well, because we know he makes millions. <gasps> ooh, ooh, yeah, you might have to. Yeah, I can. Um, her name is Sheena Marie Beauty. Sheena S H E E N A Marie Beauty. So, and I know she. Listen, if you go to Vegas, I think she does it in Vegas too sometimes. Yeah, cause he didn't done that one. If he had just silently went away, people see that's the thing. Everybody gotta talk, say some shit, throw some shit out there. But low key, the way he came, you know, I often wonder. Was he low key trying to come at Jeffrey, but he didn't come at Jeffrey because he's scared to say something? Yes, yes. And here's the thing about that. Why y'all still trying to bring up James Charles? That shit is done and over with. And so to deflect off of all of this, y'all still want to bring up this boy's name. You know? You know what I'm saying? At this point, y'all going to keep... Um, right, exactly. Yeah, Jenna worked because she just did her thing on her own. But y'all going to keep bringing this boy, this child, this boy up. Right, they just, every time they want to shift some heat, leave that boy alone. Now he crazy, he doing, but he ain't bothering nobody. He's off doing James Charles. He ain't bothering anybody. Um... You know, he's not saying anything. He ain't involved in shit. He's living his life. And so in order to you grown ass motherfuckers are still coming out of what? 20, 21 year old. Yes, he's a grown man. 
but you still looking y'all look ridiculous y'all in y'all 30s and y'all still trying to um right right he had the beauty series so it's like so y'all gonna keep fucking with this little boy this young man because and the, So y'all just gonna keep doing it. So you just gonna keep trying to deflect off of yourself by we're gonna put this spotlight on this this person, you know. And he ain't even saying shit right now. James is doing his own thing. And here's the thing. See now, if I was James Charles's camp, I would come for them now. This is what I would do. James Charles camp. If you're listening, listen to me right now. Have him burn. Here's what he needs to do. He needs to have a breakdown and say he can't take all the bullying and he needs to go, he needs to step back for a while. Right. Listen, he's obnoxious as hell, but he, he, he can be obnoxious and he can have his little people. I don't think he has, you know, nothing that I've heard of him, but here's the thing. If I was James Charles, I would I would say I I would break down and I wouldn't even go and do a video about it. I would just go dark for a while and come back and say I, the bullying has just been too rough on me and and even if he don't do it, go and get some therapy. I would put I would I I swear to God, I would do that. Are you crazy? I'm not, Logan Harris. What are you talking about? Exactly. I would just tap out. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even address the shit they're saying. But I would say, you know, I would because there is becoming bullying at this point. Let's just be honest. They are bullying him. Leave that boy alone. And what boy, you know, you sound stupid, clearly. You don't even listen to what we're saying. Okay, I would really say, you know, leave me alone. I'm so tired of being bullied by you all. And just deal with it like that. I wouldn't do a video. I wouldn't do nothing about that. I would just say, I am tired of being bullied by these people. That would be my whole statement. And I would step back and I would keep doing me. And, and be like, fuck your ass. Because why are they bringing this boy up again? Why? Do, so, so in order to... Um, that's what I'm saying. I, and if I and I would and my camp would say yeah and I'm agree. I would have a statement come out from my camp that James is really tired of being bullied and he needs a break. Period. You know he thought this was all done and all gone. You know the past was behind. You know everything. This this was a year ago. He's already been dealing with. It. I and not even making a big statement, but you know this was like this. He already dealt with this in 2019. Y'all bring this back. He's he needs a break from all this bullying from these people period and that would end it all because that's i swear to god i'd do that I, if i was his parents if i was his people that's the that's what i would do i would back them the fuck up off of him again i would back them off of him and he doesn't need to say anything he needs to just be quiet keep doing james and let the and let let the let let his team handle that and be like you know this is right Right, 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 and it's like now still like we still have stuff on him. Let this shit go. Right, they, right. I know they're they're trying to say that, and if he got that voice memo, so now it's a year later. Y'all want he want to bring this out, and the thing is, Jeffrey ain't saying a damn thing because, like I said, his team has told him to shut up because his he is not making the money he was. His sales are down. Right. No, they really don't. Tati needs to stay out of it. She needs to be quiet. She needs to not say one word about it. I would, I swear to you, she said she was done with it. I would be done with it. Like I said, the only thing, if I was James's team, I'm telling you, I would go quiet. You know, I would go quiet. I wouldn't say a word about it. Matter of fact, I would be off of social media for about a month or two. And 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 my team and all it would would say is that I'm just not in the mood. I just I need you know I need a break from bullying.
right here. Listen, and now you got Jada Pink in it. You got Jada Pink Smith involved. Yeah, he has. Yeah. Oh, Jeffrey ain't being involved in none of this. Jeffrey is like, yo, I ain't got no time. Yeah. Yeah, and that's me. They're saying this, but Jeffrey ain't saying a damn thing. Why? Because they... Right. And here's the thing. If you have some memo of someone saying they were sexually molested and you didn't take this to the police or you didn't get with this person and say you need to go to the police, this is all just allegations and supposition and all that. And unless this person comes forward, unless and and why you have a voice memo anyway? Who are you, a detective now? So you so basically, but what that says, and here's what I'm gonna say about that. So if he does have this voice memo, so what that basically says, as a person, I wouldn't fuck with J Star because clearly he's recording every fucking thing y'all say around him. Is that why he always has all these receipts and why everybody's scared of him because he records every fucking thing? If, if he got some voice memo supposedly this shit, I promise you, I'd be like, oh, no, oh hell no, nah, I ain't going to talk around you. Because clearly he must be recording everything. Because a voice memo means you recorded somebody. That doesn't mean that they know that you're recording them. And maybe, and if that's the case, perhaps that's, and who's, you know, with all, there's so many layers to that. How do you know this is, how, A, you don't know who the person is. B, you don't know this, what, if it has been altered, if there's things that have been deleted, you know. Why would they send a voice message to J Star to say that? You know. But why would they send a voice message to him? You know, what, what? who is he? Why would they do that? He ain't the fucking police. If you're saying somebody sexually molested you, why, unless you're super close to him, why would you be discussing it with Jay Star? You know what I'm saying? Why? Why wouldn't you, wouldn't you be talking to this with your family, with your friends? You're just going to talk to Je Jeffree Star? So this is, so you, you know, so supposedly there's a voicemail memo a voice memo malika of someone to, to j star saying that uh, james charles sexually molested them yeah oh yeah right oh honey because jada pissed Jada is pissed. But once again, the Dolan, I don't know. Here's the thing about that. So the Dolan twins reach out to him. They don't reach out to the people who are actually around them. Jay Star is, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's just so crazy to say, yes, he, these people called Jeffree Star. Because he's somebody that you should reach out to when you're dealing with something like this. I mean, he ain't no therapist. But once again, it's just a way to, to, to deflect off of all these other people. We're going to throw James Charles in the mix again because we know that that was so, because the, the, the allegations are so heinous that it'll, it'll take every, all, the, all the focus off of us and put it on him again. Leave that boy alone. Y'all didn't learn enough last year? Leave him alone. But see, what they're doing now is making sure it's not coming from their hands you know what i'm saying and that's what he's done now it's like as long as it's not coming from him he can get out he can disseminate what he wants to now only person who's gonna do it is rich lux because the rest of them is pulling the fuck back off of j star because they're seeing that perhaps this ship is sinking and i'm i like the rat that i am need to jump off so now they all jumping off this they're jumping off shane's putting shit out there like that just to make people to distract them to deflect off of his shit um you know and so they're i 
so therefore we so that will get people off my back but see he didn't know he got the smiths on him he got jada he gonna have jada and 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 and, and will ain't said nothing yet but if we'll get involved too he because he got jada and Jaden already so now will mr will smith get involved shane you done you're done you're done you're done because I saw the clip and it is very, it's very bad. Um, Will does social, he doesn't do Twitter. He's on, but he has a YouTube channel. Will Smith has a YouTube channel. Um, so what's going to happen is, yeah, it's very, it's very, and it's like, what made you think at that? No, nah, that that shit wasn't cute. It's was eleven year old girl, and the thing is, is like her song was not sexual at all. It was just, you know, a little girl. I whip my hair back and forth. I whip my. It was a cute little song. And but here's the thing with that. Is that why would a big time YouTuber need to go to J Star? If you're a big time YouTuber, why would you need to go to J Star about James Charles? This is it's just so weird. It's just it just and here's the thing. Is that person supposed to go come forward with it? Hell no. Because it sound you know what I'm saying? It 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 just doesn't sound right. Because if that was the case, why didn't they come forward last year? I thought it was cute too, but it was cute because we were older. I thought, oh, she's so cute. I whip my hair back and forth. I whip my hair back and forth. It was such a cute little silly song. And clearly she got it because she was Willow Smith because we ain't heard nothing from her since. But yeah, it's just. It's very weird, and all it is is distraction and deflection. And I, I, I wouldn't, I would even entertain it if I was James Charles, because last year he had to deal with it. He had to address it. He had to say something because they were coming for him and destroy and destroying his career. This time, I'd be like, okay, so, so y'all, so you you're, you're, because it's clearly they're trying to use him as a distraction. And if the person who did this is not willing to come forward, why was all this is 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 um speculation? If that person is not willing to come forward, it's just speculation. And if somebody and if he did molest somebody, they need to come forward. If that's the case, then that needs to be that has to be taken care of. Has to be. But at this point, this just sounds like some speculation. And, and and so you just had to come. Malachi love everybody. He just want. He's a very attention cat. He's like porch cat was. Malachi is about the attention. He wants to be petted all the time. But he's a brat. Get off me, cat. Get off me. Oh, I shouldn't have done that, should I? I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that.
Okay, go on now, Malachi. Go on now. Okay, you can get down there. Go on now. Malachi, don't you jump on me. What the hell are you doing? Go on now. Go and get away. Fuck. I like them. I just don't like when he's this needy. Because he gets relentless. I'll be all right, you know. So I bet you not go away. No, but he wants to keep coming at you. But he is a beautiful cat. I will say that. He's 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 a beautiful cat. Could you stop? Okay, I'm gonna get out of here in a second because he's going to keep. Just come on. Listen. Can y'all hear him purring? He is so loud. Don't you get on my table. All right, y'all, let me get off of here. I got to get ready for my, for my week. Say goodbye, Malachi. Say goodbye, Malachi. Yeah. That's terrible, that, them doing that Just Black. Malachi, I'm not putting you. Go on up there. Go up there. All right, y'all have a great day. See y'all later this week. We'll talk perfume, makeup, and all that good stuff. See ya. Oh, damn, Malachi.